Oh, speaking of insanity, this is another fun moment. Remember how I said, like, the average American is, is behaving like a medieval peasant? But imagine if we could strap a f GoPro onto the medieval peasant and make aware the medieval peasant of the GoPro's existence so they could document all of their insanity and insane thoughts. This is what you arrive at. AMC refunded an entire theater of tickets to Sound of Freedom due to lack of AC. This lady showed up anyway and wants answers. There was air conditioning in the lobby, in the hallway, in the bathrooms. Not the theaters. I smell something stinky. So... Don't know if any one of you have already been to see The Sound of Freedom, but my friends and I just walked out. Hi. And we are curious what your experiences were in the movie theater because we pre-ordered our tickets, paid for them. They were claimed, got the link sent. And this is McDonald's did not allow me to have a, a ice cream, a delicious ice cream treat. They said the machine is broken. Well, I feel like there's something else going on. It's real fishy. AMC Theater in Pineville, North Carolina. Yes. Some point today, the tickets got refunded to my friend and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyway to the theater after dinner and they're like, oh, well, we refunded all the tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theaters. Okay, whatever. We don't care. Are you still showing it? Yeah, you can you can still watch it. So we get to thinking, why did they not send out a notice in the email saying, hey, we refunded your tickets because there's no air conditioning. Um, and we just are curious why they why why didn't they let us know? There was no one in that theater. There was Hello, I am the evil HVAC man who works for AMC. I turn off all the air conditioners in the theater showing the sex trafficking movie, or I am evil. Wait, what is The Sound of Freedom? I didn't even know what this is. Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. The QAnon-tinged thriller about child trafficking is designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy-addled boomer. Oh my god, this is the QAnon movie. Why are you doing it? This is the soundtrack? I love that. I'm immediately held captive by this, okay? Call me an American child in Nebraska. The way I'm captive. Like, I'm captive by the Colombian child trafficker gang. It got me. Uh, oh, God, this is awesome. God's children are not for sale. God's children are not for sale. Yeah, God is so against child trafficking. It's it's God that's against it. It is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. I like that he opens the door and he's sad. He doesn't want the kid to think like, oh, yay, uh, I'm trafficking this child. It like, oh, no, what did they do to you, my boy? I'm so sad. I'm so sad about the trafficking that has been done to you. I'm going to reverse traffic now. <laughs> Angel Studios? Oh, this is so good. The world has ever seen. We're Homeland Security. You know we can't go off rescuing Honduran kids in Colombia. This job tears you to pieces. And, my and this is my one chance to put those pieces back together. Look at the real life guy. You can imagine the horny QAnon woman in this man. Oh, this is the real guy. Oh, dude. Oh, it's over. It's so over. Every Barbara in a 10 mile radius from any AMC uh, theater that plays this movie is, oh my God, they're so wet. This man has gotten the most Barbara pussy you've ever seen. No one is getting Barbara pussy after this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jim Caviezel is also super into QAnon. Oh my lord, dude. Oh my lord. He's got the Barbers and the Debras. You're right. That's why the AC was broken, dude. It's too moist in there. The walls are sweating. Inside the shadowy anti-sex trafficking group hour. We spoke to the people who trained for a rescue mission and saw what was behind the curtain. Yeah, but that's vice. They're gay communists who want the sex trafficking. They want the sex trafficking to continue. Here's me on Sound of Freedom, the QAnon adjacent thriller that pretends to be a real movie much in the same way a pregnancy crisis center pretends to be an actual clinic. Brazilians are already accusing me of pedophilia on Instagram. Enjoy.
The mainstream liberal media doesn't want you to know that this film is a stealth reverse big. What is this? So I'm clear. The movie makes no mention of QAnon, but you're presuming that the absence is a dog whistle for QAnon people? Yeah. If you don't like a movie that features... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so awful. This is what rad libs do. This is literally what rad libs do. It's just now the right is doing it and they're saying you're a pedophile. Rad libs used to do this and be like, oh, if you like this movie, you're a racist. Oh, fuck off. What do you mean? Oh, fuck off. This is straight up looking at a movie and then thinking that like watching that movie, consuming that movie says something about your personal politics. It does not. Just enjoy things. Who cares? And then it's also creating this like clear moral boundary or you have to warp every every piece of media that you consume to ensure that like uh you know nobody gets a different message out of it saying this is uncovering the dark side of child sex trafficking is a perfect representation of this it's like the ted lasso of of uh QAnon watchers and ted lasso doesn't even take itself too seriously because it's a fucking comedy so it doesn't really matter but you can't have a bad guy and if you have a bad guy he can't be like good wait what's up Oh, you guys want to, you guys love streaming, dude. What the fuck? They're just like slowly walking in here while I'm, sh uh, while I'm streaming. You're just like, Hey, all right, here, get in here, dude. We're, we're just doing nothing. Sound of freedom is a QAnon tinged thriller about child trafficking designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy adult boomer sick. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome. And apparently like. It's gotten relatively positive reception from even critics because mm. 78 on Rotten uh, Tomatoes is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And yet, anyone that's given it like average marks now is being bombarded yeah. with pedophilia accusations. <laughs> the movie company is raising awareness by raising $4 million for themselves. Nice. This is America's yeah. number one movie, Sound of Freedom. And they had a pay it forward campaign to provide free tickets for someone to claim and watch it at the nice. movie theaters. So they raised enough money for 3.8 million tickets. Wait, wait can they, does that mean I can watch for free? Where do you, how do you apply for the for the person who's being? I paid want for? that too. Yeah. I want to. I want to. They they need to pay it forward for us because we are the audience that has to watch it. Yeah. Because yeah. we only know about the light side of child trafficking. Yeah, we only hear the we've good never parts. been. We've never encountered the dark side of it. No, I've never been trafficked. Yeah. So this this movie is gruesome. Wait, oh, it says claim free tickets. New CNN vocally opposes the release of Sound of Freedom, a movie exposing the reality of child sex trafficking, calling it a QAnon film. Imagine being upset about a movie exposing child sex trafficking and thinking you're the good guys. Dude, it's a movie, man. It's fake, dude. It's fake, brother. You're doing the same shit that Radlibs do when they're like, huh? You didn't like this particular movie that has a great message like that. Well, that says a lot about you. It's like, is it a doco in any way? Is it based on a true story? Oh, it's based on a true story. Oh, Oh, so it's like an actual movie. I thought it was a documentary. I thought it was yeah, him no, going no. around the world and freeing No, that's what children. I thought too. No, no, no. It's actually just like a movie. Oh. If I show you the trailer, Wait, you'll understand. Isn't Taken a movie about the dark side of Yeah, the but that's not enough. Because God's children are not for sale. That's God's the, children that's are not the for bar. Sale. God's children are that's not a for sick sale. Line. I actually feel like I'm going to enjoy this movie. So what, I think this. What about other children? Yeah. Atheist children? No, nah, fuck those kids. Yeah, for sale. Those kids are actually for sale, <laughs> but they're going for cheap. It's only. <laughs> Ow. Fucking bargain. Yeah. They only want God's children. <laughs> they got the. They, they're the best. The kidnap <laughs> and traffic. Aren't God's it children the, the one that get molested the most? All the kids in the Catholic network. Church. Yeah, because they're the best. Yeah. <laughs> they're the, no, God, they get molested for free. Yeah, you can't, they, you can't no, the Catholics, the Catholics have been on to this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just works for the Vatican. He's yeah. like, we need our kids back. These are yeah. our kids. You quit your job and you go and rescue those kids. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring, baby. Wait, was that one of the clients? Hold on, that guy. That guy pedophile? Yeah, wait, hold yeah, on. The guy with the weird haircut and the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. Uh, yeah, he's like, yeah. pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he fucking voted for Hillary Clinton. How bad would that be as an actor getting typecast as the pedophile? <laughs> it's like, that's my role. Bro, in if you're rooms. walking around with that haircut, you're begging for <laughs> yeah. it. That's Call the it. sound of freedom. So good. You should write these movies. Wow, he said the title. 
That's when you know a movie is sick. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, when you when they say the title of the movie. Sound of freedom is. Oh, it doesn't end There's there. More. Oh, this oh. is why it's they like explain super. To us what, what happens in the movie? He's yeah. still sad, but he's not even acting here. Yeah, no, he's just like that. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, people were saying like he was Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, in an Australian uh, Medal of Honor winner recipient Mel Gibson's movie, <laughs> Passion of Christ, and people were saying that he doesn't know how to read. <laughs> like he's illiterate and forgets all of his lines all the time. Did Jesus have all the lines? Freedom is one of those films that can legitimately change this world. So we want to ignite a fire in audiences and open their eyes to the dark this reality like Tony, of millions of children that need our help. Let's make this film a historic event and the start, the end of child trafficking. Oh Theaters God. across this country are already selling out. Pre-order your tickets today. And you can he sounds it. like AI. I know. Pre-order your ticket. Like he's like order your. He's speaking like he's never heard words before. <laughs> yeah. Pre-order your tickets today. This is awesome. Message though. I, that God's children are no just, longer for sale. Yeah, no longer. Kind of cool. I mean, good work on behalf of the production company to cash in on like a narrative that people. Yeah, the really QAnon, yeah, the yeah. QAnon frenzy. It's like, I got a but, shit film, but if but I tilt ev- it this way. Every single person has basically, in my chat so far, have reported either their parents or a co-worker is like basically pr- uh, promoting this movie in this li- with these lines. My co-worker told me about this movie today and how it's the best movie that they don't want you to see. Who's they? Dude, come on. It's Jewish people. Like, <laughs> like what you, come on, pick it up. So. Pick it up. <laughs> the Albanians don't want you to see this yet. <laughs> <laughs> Albanians hate this one movie. Since Taken, they've been like, please don't expose the dark side of child trafficking in a way that Taken never did. Yeah. I think we need to learn the facts. Worldschildren.org. Children are trafficked four times more likely to be trafficked for labor rather than sex. Wait, oh, hold like, on. I mean, the ones who make all our stuff. Wait, how is a child useful, though, for fucking labor? What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? Tiny little, little fingers. Hands. Compared to an adult, though. Yeah, but it's adults so hard to traffic. You can fit like yeah. so many more kids in a car than you can. You're adults. so right, and also like I feel like they're more resilient. Kids, kids. well, you can. Yeah. Them. Well, we were talking about this today. They do. Yeah. Have, they, their bones are bendy. They like. Yeah, you like. That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. You just believed what I said. Well, you made it up. No, I mean I could be wrong, but you just oh. took that on face. No, value. it's like it's like a child 100 percent can cope with like horrific trauma better than an adult can with like yeah. fully fleshed. Flushed opinions, fully fledged opinions. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Um, I, I think an adult would just kill themselves, but kids would just keep on working. Yeah, kids are like, I don't get it. I don't know. I guess this I guess, is my reality. Yeah, this is yeah. what this is what being a human is all about. My thing is like, why are you trying to traffic children for labor when you could just like go to Nebraska? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> many states have unrolled new deregulation specifically surrounding child labor like you can do it you know you can do it without any sort of like pesky government restrictions what about prison labor isn't that super cheap as well yeah but you don't see that's the problem that juvie doesn't, doesn't do that doesn't do labor oh really yeah uh, juvie doesn't i don't think juvie resources. does i know 66 percent of child trafficking victims are girls what can you do about forced labor it's uh progressive that they're all girls but they want them for work yeah <laughs> yeah it's awful. ladies belong in the factory floor <laughs> as well um 99 of victims traffic for sexual exploited exploitation are women and girls traffickers use threat lies debt bondage yeah we've all seen uh andrew tate andrew tate's <laughs> hustlers <laughs> university um pimping hose degree okay let's watch and you seem pretty familiar with him because he doesn't really hide his association with this real wild plot uh that that involves you know drinking the blood of children and things like that hmm. No, he doesn't hide it at all. And you have a lot of people who are in this world of QAnon who say, oh, they don't know what that is. They've never heard of it. Yeah, they brought a guy with the last name Rothschild <laughs> to talk about talk they, about how this movie is, is fake. They're this totally is, in on it. This, this surely will make the QAnon guys uh, yeah. respond normally. Yeah. Yeah. With somebody like Jim Caviezel, he is openly embracing it. He's oh, openly this... using its catchphrases oh, and its yeah. concepts. He's speaking at QAnon conventions. And this film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon but claim they don't know what it is. And The Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue of sex trafficking. Uh, but that theme, it, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, tell us how those two things work together. Sure. And the most durable and the most believable. 
<laughs> I'm Jewish and we spent all of the Sabbath cutting the air conditioning in every AMC theater. <laughs> <laughs> we started off we we started off this because I saw this like freak QAnon mom who was like, What are they hiding? They refunded our tickets because the AC wasn't working in the theater. <laughs> I was trying to watch Sound of Freedom, like <laughs> Dude, it's awesome. Yes, there's a grand conspiracy to stop you from watching another movie about stopping child traffickers. Oh. Believable conspiracy theories are not entirely false. There's something in them that is true and the rest of it is false. But the believers point to the one true thing and they say, oh, you don't believe that this particular thing is true. In terms of child trafficking, we know trafficking is real. We know it has real victims. No one is denying that. But these films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it's been I really hate both sides of this conversation. I actually, no, I hate this side more, as a matter of fact. <laughs> At least the other side is, like, entertaining with how yeah. schizophrenic they are. Yeah. Like, their reception of this movie is like, this is uncovering <laughs> secret truths yeah. about, uh, you know, the pedophile Democrats and whatever. Which is like a movie in and of itself, you know what I mean? It's like a second thing to watch. Meanwhile, these guys are like, oh my god, uh, the movie is creating a moral panic. It's like, yeah, it is. Because these people are insane. But also, like... I don't know. I it's just, I think they're they're taking it just as seriously yeah. Yeah. as the it's other like side it's is. Not important. I, you're not just going to see a movie. You're just killing two hours on a hot day. You are helping bring down these these pedophile rings and save children. Now it's not true, but it's a very comforting and it's a very warm feeling to have. It's in the same vein as like whatever kind of fucking liberal feel good movie that comes out. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. Like a like a white man savior, well, like a white savior flick that comes out, and like every liberal goes and watches it. This is the best thing ever. And they're like, "Oh my god, I'm doing my part, like fighting against racism." You know? So oh, I went, on I went to watch the Green Book. Like, yeah, that's so oh, that was such a shit movie. Yeah, I just oh. that's that's it. It's and at the this, end they have like Christmas dinner together or something. It's so bad. You want to see this? <gasps> She's hot. I would, dude. I was. I did not say that. You said that, and I do not agree nor disagree with you. Right. We pre-ordered our tickets, paid for them. They were claimed. Got the link sent. And this is an AMC theater in Pineville, North Carolina. Some point today, the tickets got refunded to my friend, and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyway to the theater after dinner, and they're like, "Oh, well, we refunded all the tickets." because there's no air conditioning in our theaters okay whatever Delicious. we don't care are you still showing it you they'll do still care. watch it no, no they'll still watch no they care about child sex trafficking they want to end know. it air conditioning in america is a special thing dude it's People so pump good. it so hard here it's so oh, fun okay don't act like it's not incredible though it's nice it's kind of painful sometimes. oh it's my too god cold. you guys are such pussies dude i was in fucking france for the past good weekend no ac anywhere dude holy shit that makes you the pussy not us everywhere you go people are just raw dog in the heat and it's so weird <laughs> you, you would just like rather be in a shittier situation <laughs> yeah well these ladies are are, are down they're to on, be uncomfortable yeah, they're with us as long as they're watching Watching the, the, the child sex trafficking movie. Yeah, yeah, you can you can still watch it. So we get to thinking, why did they not send out a notice in the email saying, "Hey, we refunded your tickets because there's no yeah. air conditioning," um, and we just are curious why they why why didn't they let us know? There was no one in that theater. There was us four and four other people, eight people in the theater. On a Friday night. That means no one else wanted to watch it. <laughs> there was air conditioning in the hallways. There was air conditioning in the bathroom. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you can't fool her. <laughs> She's on to you, AMC. That is a bit suspicious. Yeah, air conditioning mm. in the lobby. Yeah, guess what? I guess Hillary Clinton cut out the air conditioning. <laughs> That's what we know. Not the theaters. They don't have the bartender or anything in the theater. Okay. What? That's how the air conditioning happens. I smell something stinky, and I think it's shit. <laughs> you fix her? Oh, there's a part two. I, I love don't need it. to. She's perfect. Part two. How many? Oh, she had more to say. Let's go. She had fucking more to say, dude. It's not enough that something smells stinky. <laughs> and it's not my B.O. It's, it's not shit. Deborah's B.O., okay? I'll tell you what, due to the lack of no A.C., I mean, okay? Many people 
would continue to drive over. This is, here's the theater. We're in Pineville, North Carolina, okay? So how many people do you know would actually still go to a theater knowing that your tickets have been refunded to check on your tickets? Not that many people. We did because we're insane because we're yeah. fucking so dumb oh, you're, like, too, you're too mean to her <laughs> oh my god you're such, take a, it easy. you're such you're a love sim we did because <laughs> we're not dumb and also that was divinely inspired oh my Whoa. god oh my god it's because she's not dumb mm. That's why she was like, oh, this movie, uh, unfortunately, is not going to be like a great experience for you because the AC is broken and nobody gives a shit to fix it. And she was like, no, I'm not dumb. You can't be fooling me. You don't want me to watch this movie. <laughs> OK, you don't want me to watch the movie. It's like next up. No one's making this movie a movie saying murder is bad. <laughs> yeah. OK, no one's making it. <laughs> them goddamn lip tars they want to they want you to think murder is good <laughs> okay that's why that's why they stopped me from seeing that's why they made me slightly the transporter <laughs> <laughs> or john <laughs> john wick <laughs> liberals don't want you to see john wick <laughs> Imagine being the minimum wage worker, though, in the cinema with these women coming up and accusing you yeah. of being like a pedophile lover or something. You're like, ma'am, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to I'm make a child. popcorn, please. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm a child I'm myself. A child. Yeah. What do you want from me? Uh, that's right. Bet you're, bet you're going after girls in your, your class. <laughs> <laughs> Got them. For God to push us to keep going here. Um, to find out what these theaters are doing to keep this message from getting out. I don't care what you Why think. Why would they screen it? About what the fuck are you <laughs> put it on and then sabotage it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. She thinks they're trying to stop the movie from being fucking released. Oh, that's so awesome. God, I love... See, this is what I mean. Infinitely more entertaining than some yeah. nerd going on CNN and being like, mm, this is really... There's a nugget of truth. They're really hyping up the QAnon narratives. It's like, this shit's funny. Both sides taking it way too seriously, okay? It's just a fucking dumb movie. But at least these guys and their schizophrenia is fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. AMC stands for all my children, as in trafficking all my children. <laughs> Fucking dude, we're on to it. This movie was filmed in 2018 and sat on release for five years. <laughs> it's literally just a generic action thriller that the marketers yeah, found a good yeah, angle yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. yeah the genius. Yeah. But a message is a message, and who cares who the messenger is? Go see the fucking movie. And be damned what your theater tells you if it refunds your tickets. Go anyways. Peace out. I want to see this movie so bad. I kind of want to see this movie tonight yeah. as well. Yeah. Should we go watch this yeah. movie? Let's go watch yeah. it and do a review. I, but they don't want... Dude, Los Angeles is taken over by commies. Dude, there's not going to be any... I don't think any the, we'll be able to watch it. I, I don't think we'll be able to watch this movie. Would you be slightly suspicious if we arrive and there's no aircon? Oh, yeah. I would be like... Yeah. Twice... She's right. Twice in the same country. Yeah, that could never happen. Okay, to be fair, air conditioning is like basically built into the American Constitution. Yeah, yeah. So like it is objectively probably the only good thing about America where America clears like the rest of the world. Oh, I hate it. So it's much. just like so much air conditioning. It's awesome. You would die in Australia. Yeah, there's no yeah. air con. And I want to go. I want to go during the the winter too, like our winter, your summer. Which again, another global conspiracy. Very interesting. It's winter here, but then you go to Australia, and all of a sudden it's summer. What are they hiding? Did they make it warm just so they can traffic children easier? <laughs> Everybody knows children prefer the warm weather. I'm just saying. 